This is the Iron Trader, and this is the weekend edition. Today, we're going to take a look here at Bitcoin, um, at gold, at silver, and the dollar. This video is for information purposes only, not a recommendation to buy, sell any stock, commodity, ETF. Please like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, here we have Bitcoin, your daily chart. Now, we can see what a nice, beautiful rally this has had. Okay, so uh, as we got over here to this section right here, okay, we look at that 200 SMA. Look how nice it held it, and then we just kept on climbing and climbing. Now, again, I always point out the 8 SMA and the 21 days. Look at the 8 SMA, how nice it held when it came. Uh, so below that, where to go? Right down to the 21 day. Even this candle here came all the way down, but closed back above. Now, this Right here, this uh, drop off basically was when they had all those ETFs issued uh, and then it kind of like fell off. But now it's got its juice uh, back again here. All right. So let's take a look. This is the key level that you got to have. OK, 53,200. Now you can see the sideways action. You had one, two, three, four, five, six, basically six, seven days here of just sideways action. So you really need to close back above that 53,200. All right, if you don't, then we always want to watch this key uh, 8 SMA, 51,559, okay? So again, if that is lost here, we can come down to the candles. You're looking at 50,630. Uh, then we can look to the top of this candle here, uh, 50,000, uh, 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 675 basically is what we're looking at here to hold. Now again, if this area is lost, then we'll come to the top of this candle. You're looking at 49,435. But right now, if we take the top of this candle here and we look for that box, you can see how nice support that is. Now, again, if that's lost here, then we want to look to the top of this candle and extend that box out a little bit, okay? So that's 49,435. If that is lost here, we can follow the candles all the way down. But realistically, you're going to probably come back and retouch that, that 46 and uh, 942, that key 21 day. And then right below it, you have 44, uh, 781 here. But this is a really nice chart here. So very, very bullish. So what you want to do is just watch the top of that candle. If that is lost here, then we want to watch the top of this candle and maybe make a little bit of a, a deeper box. Again, if that's lost here, we can follow the candles down. But realistically, your target here is going to be that 46,942. And then we have your 50 day here right below it at uh, 4481. Then obviously, if that's lost, um, then what we can do is you can come all the way down here. We just take the candles all the way down. Okay, so you have 42, uh, 930 here. We have uh, 43, uh, 18. And then we just follow all the way to like the top of this candle, 40, uh, uh, 540. And then we come down to uh, 40,470. And then we have a nice big retest here of your price channel, which is basically uh, 39,545. But I always like to show you where it could possibly go. But realistically, as long as this eight day is holding here on a closing basis, and that top of the candle, this basically box area here is, is looking very, very good. Again, if that's lost, we'll come always to the left, look at it that way, okay, make a little dip, deeper box, and then you have your 21 day and your 50 day. Now, when we look here on your RSI here, well, you know, you can see here this, you got a lot of strength going, okay, a lot of very strength. Your MACD here, very good momentum, very bullish, your green is above your red. We got to see if that's going to roll over or what exactly it's going to do. Okay, so let's take a look here on a weekly. Okay, here we have the old weekly chart. Now, this is here. You can just see how very, very nice and bullish here. Once we broke above that key 100 SMA here, came down, retested, and broke right on up here. Looking real good. This area where that sell up, that was with them ETFs, and now she's rallying up. So you want to watch the top of this candle. This is going to be the key level. That's uh, 53, uh, 145. Now, again, if this closes above, then we just come right here to the left, okay, um, all the way uh, uh, across here. So we want to look here to the bottom of this candle. Um, what are we looking at? 53, 600. We'll look to the bottom here. You're looking at 55, 600. And then we can start coming over to the top of this candle. We're looking at um, uh, 59, uh, 680. And then... The key level here is also going to be here on the left of the chart here is that 65,520, okay? So that'll be a key level because this was your breakout candle. When it rallied all up here nice, came right on down, held this 50-day, 
look how nice it held this 50 day here, here, rallied up, and then you went higher to make a new high. Okay, you made a, a, a new high, uh, but off of that candle uh, right there. Sorry about that. Yeah, off of this candle right here. Okay, so this is what you want to look at here. That 65,520, that's going to be a target. And obviously, here, you're 69,355. But realistically, you need to close back above this area right here, this 53,145. You have 53,200. This is your key level right here. But see how we had that. The red candle going on here. So the first level you want to go to is that 53,145 and then that 53,200. Uh, okay. That's very, very uh, good. See, so re realistically, if you bring this, this line all the way across, see this right here? See how you ran right into this resistance? This resistance here coming right across here. Okay. So realistically, as it ran up, you always have to watch the resistant area. So then what we do is you just, if you can break above, we follow the bottom of these candles until we hit this next resistance. See where this price channel is notched here? Okay, that's your next resistant level. And then this here would be your next resistant level. And then we have your big retest up here. So always put price channels on here because what it does is when it sells off like this, what it does, these are basically just the highs. Okay, that's where those price channels come, just the highs. So now what that be, does, it becomes the resistance Okay, so it's very easy to chart. So when you see this 53,200 here, well, where did it go? Well, you just look at this resistance area, came right in here, right in here. That's your resistance level. So now, if it can break above that, then we also have another resistance level right there. And then if we can break above that, we have another resistance level, and then we have your retest. Now, here on the bottom, well, again, you wanna watch the top of this candle. Very, very key. That's at 49,435. Uh, uh, that was where you broke out of as it went up high, came on down. That's where you broke out of. So now that's going to be support. If that's lost here, you have a nice 50-day below that. We have a nice 21-day below that. And then we have your 50-day uh, right here. Okay, so 8, 21, and 50-day. But now look at all these SMAs here. Look how nice that on the upswing. 21, upswing. 50-day, uh, upswing. Everything is here is on upswing. Shows it's very, very bullish. Your RSI here. Look at massive strength here going on. You look at your green above your red. Good momentum here shows very, very uh, bullish here. So realistically, Bitcoin, any kind of a pullback here would be a buying opportunity. Or if you close the back above this 53,200, that'd be a buying opportunity here to take it to the next level. Okay, now let's take a look here at uh, gold. All right, here we have gold. Now you can see here, we have a really nice trading action. Now, the easy way that, that I trade gold is with the ETF GLD. Um, if you're doing silver, SLV, really good ETFs. The key I like about them is big volume, good movement, and you can get in and out of this thing. There's no extra fees here. Now, if you buy the actual commodity, say, hey, I'm going to go to Costco and I'm going to buy me some gold. Yeah, that sounds good. But you can have a 4% fee on top of that. And then we sell it, you're going to have a 4% thing. So you're already down 8%. And you haven't even got into the trade yet, okay? So, you know, if you want to trade this, use a GLD. Very, very simple, very easy. SLV for silver, very easy. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Now, let's just look at the downside here first, okay? So what we want to do is we want to watch this key. Uh, 50 SMA here, 2042. We have your uh, uh, eight, uh, 21 right below it, 2039. And then we have your 8 SMA at 2025, and then we have 2006 here for your 100-day, uh, and then your big retest on your price channel, which would be 1996 and then 1981, right below all this here. But realistically, you can see how nice that this is holding here. Uh, now on the upside, what you wanna do is we wanna look always to the high, 2053 here. If you can get above that, you can see where you're right in that resistance area here. Uh, if you can get above that, then we'll come up to the next target. You're looking at 2,061 here, and then we have 2,074, and then we have a nice retest there of 2,083. Now, again, if it breaks above that level, then we just go to the next price channel, which is basically right there, okay? 2,088, then the next price channel, which is that candle, 2,098, and then we have a big retest of 2,152. So these price channels are basically, they're priceless because it shows you exactly, if I break above here, this is where I'm going. I break above there, 
this is where I'm going. If I break above there, then I'm gonna go to that retest. Very, very easy. So realistically, on a downside, watch the 50 SMA here. You wanna watch that 21 day. You wanna watch the eight SMA. If that's all lost, then we can come down to your 100 SMA here, and then maybe a retest of your price chart. But right now here, you can just see here how you're just trading up here. You put a nice double bottom in there, went higher, came down, held the 100 day, Okay, and now it looks like you want to move up and retest that 2.83. Here on your weekly chart, um, you know, pretty much the same thing here. But what I do like about this is see your 50-day, nice on the uprise. 21-day, uprise. Okay, now your 8-day is, is uh, well, it's kind of rolling over a little bit here, but nothing really that uh, uh, major. Everything else, look at your 200-day, 100-day, everything is on uprise here. So this is actually can go, I think, once you can trade this range here from this price channel. So bottom line, you have 2,083 on the top here and we have 1,996 on the bottom. Okay, so that's a good trading range here like this has been in, okay? So when it gets up to that area there, don't be afraid to, hey, I'm gonna sell it. If it closes above, well then we can always rebuy it and then take it up to the next level. Your RSI here, you got plenty of room here. Uh, let me see here. Your green just went above your, <coughs> your red on your MACD. Looking good. Uh, RSI here on your weekly, plenty of room here. And let's see, see what we got here. Okay, that had a little bit of bearish cross, but it just, it's just really kind of a sideways uh, action here. So right now we have some really good trading here. If you want to trade gold, just use the GLD and you will make money. All right, let's take a look here at silver. All right, here we have silver. Okay. Uh, well, actually, what do we have here? All right, so uh, we had a, a, it sold right on down, and then we had a nice double bottom action here. Okay, so what you had here for a low, 2204, you retested it here at basically 2197. Nice double bottom, green candle, ran right on up here, basically into this, this uh, resistant levels, which is coming right straight across here. Okay, so now you've got a trading range here. So you can see where you're 2197 on the bottom, 23.56 hour on top. So on the downside, what you want to do is look like this 21 day and this eight day are pretty much pinned. So you want to watch, say, that 21 day, 22.84 and 22.84. So those are pinned together. That is going to be your key support levels. If it goes lower than that, then we'll just follow it down. You have uh, 22.76. We have Friday's candle at 22.58. And then we can come down to 22.40. And then we have a retest here of uh, 21.97. Uh, on the upside, it looks like you have this pretty much the same thing here, uh, 23.27, and that's gonna be your 50 day and your 100 day, and then we have your 200 day here, sitting at 23.48, and then we have your price channel, 23.56. So you got a really pretty much tight range here, but you had the double bottom action here, went up, couldn't get up above, the, above that resistant level, so you just bring that resistant levels here, right across, see this, all this, all this resistance here, all that there, okay, couldn't do it, and then it came right on down. Now again, it's holding that key eight and 21 day, now wants to move up, we gotta see what it does here at that 23.27 and 23.56. Now again, if you can get above all that, well, we'll come up to the next layer here, so which is basically this candle. So you're looking at 24.33, then we'll bring this price channel across here, we have 24.74, and then we bring him across, and what you have there is 24.89. Okay, so then that's where your targets are. Just bring that price channel across, this one across, that one across. Those will be your upside, uh, uh, upside targets if, big if, you can close above that 23.56. Not intraday above and come down, close above. Then we have nice upside targets and you have a base, big retest there of 26.34. Uh, uh, weekly here is the same thing. It's just basically a nice, uh, a lot of chop here going on here. Uh, but again, you have good upside uh, potential, you came down, you held this key 100 SMA here for the week at that 22.58. Now what you want to do is you want to watch at 23.73, that's all jammed up here, and then we have 23.73 uh, uh, on your uh, 50 SMA here. So this is where you really need to close above all this kind of stuff here, but you have to get above that 23.56 first. Then we can have a, a nice run up here to a retest. But your, your weekly or daily chart, I should say, is a little better uh, uh, viewing here because if you can get through this resistant level, get to that 23.56 uh, above, then we can just notch it right on up so we know exactly where we're gonna go. 
Your RSI here, plenty of room to run. Your green above your red, that always shows that's momentum, good bullish uh, right here. This is just below it, but this is a real tight sideways action. RSI is looking good here. So realistically, I would just trade the range until she either breaks above this 23.56 or comes down and retests this, holds this area, then you can scalp it long, take it right back up again. All right, let's take a look here at the U.S. dollar. All right, here we have the U.S. dollar, the old Dixie. Well, first thing I want to point out that I want to show you here is look at here, okay? Left shoulder, head, right shoulder, boom, okay? Within that, we have a smaller left shoulder, head, and right shoulder, and looking very good. So now you came down, and you're holding this key 200 SMA here uh, level, which is at 103.67, and you're above the 21 SMA. So the next in line is going to be that 100 day at 104.15. And then we have your 104.24. And then we have your nice retest up here at 104.97. Now, again, if we can get above that, then what we'll do is our target is going to be the same thing as the rest of the charts. Take this price channel, bring it right across. What do we got? You got 106. Okay. And then we'll bring this price channel right across. What do you got? 107.11, and then we have 107.34. So what we do is just the reverse as this came down, we just take the price channels, go right back up. Those are gonna be your resistant levels here, okay? But you have to watch this area if it gets here, because see this double top, 107.34 here? And then when we had 107.11, double top, and then she sold right on off here. So always try to look for any kind of pattern, anything that'll give you some kind of an edge. Your RSI looking good. Your, it looks like your, your MACD here kind of rolled over here a little bit, but that doesn't mean it can't just curl right back up again. Uh, it's awful tight until you get a, like a big, bigger gap like we have here where you can clearly see where it's uh, selling off because it looks like it, it reversed. And what I do like about this is see this low, higher low, higher low, higher low. That's always a very bullish pattern. You combine that with the inverse head and shoulders pattern. And if you flip this, you take the bottom, you take the neckline going across here, that 107, and that's going to be your target. Um, here on your weekly chart here, well, you know, you got up some pretty good action, but it, it just looks like see, where this is where you had that double top situation right there and right there, the same things we had here, okay? And then she sold right on off here. But you notice that it held the bottom. It put in a, a higher low. So when you have a low here, a basically 99.57, then we put in 161. So you have a nice higher low pattern again, which basically was kept this, held this support level right in here. And now she's going to try to rally up. The key is here, you have to get above this resistance here and that 104.97, you know, to actually to run up higher. But we just follow the levels up and that's where she was going to go. So the dollar right now is pretty strong. So we got to see how this is all going to uh, uh, shake out. All right. That's what I got for you on a Sunday week edition. Uh, we have Bitcoin, we have gold, we have silver, and we have the old dollar. Thanks for watching.